Ed Erler, what's your earliest memory of uh, Harry Jaffa? Early in the uh, fall term of 1967, I had called uh, Harry Jaffa to um, make an appointment with him. This was before the term had started, and I, I wanted to meet him, and I had uh, uh, read his works, especially uh, Crisis of the House Divided. It was one of the required readings in an undergraduate course I had had. And so uh, he uh, made an appointment to meet at his office, uh, which was in old Pitzer Hall, <clears throat> and I was there on time. Uh, and uh, he, he, didn't, uh, he wasn't there, and I waited <laughs> around for about 15 minutes, and finally he came walking up uh, the stairs. He was on the second floor at the time, uh, dressed uh, in his uh, cycling outfit. He had just uh, <laughs> been on a uh, bicycle ride and uh, his uh, shorts and uh, 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 an odd-looking uh, cycling hat and, uh, and so on and so forth. I was uh, quite uh, shocked. I didn't know he was a, uh, an avid uh, cyclist, and so uh, he, he greeted me, and uh, we made small talk for a little while. He invited me in, and I told him I was interested in uh, taking his course. He uh, was teaching a course on Plato's Republic, and so I asked him about that, and uh, he uh, didn't seem to be all, all that interested. He wanted to talk about his cycling. <laughs> and uh, he had ridden, uh, just ridden 50 miles, and he was uh, training for this upcoming race. And, uh, and I wanted to ask him uh, when he was going to be teaching a course on Lincoln. And he said he wasn't sure, uh, but uh, he would get around to it sometime or another, and this and that and the other thing. And, and he, he mostly wanted to talk about his cycling and uh, uh, in those days, I wasn't interested in cycling, so I kept trying to steer the conversation back to some academic subject. And he uh, told me he was writing a uh, a uh, review for uh, a book review for uh, uh, National Review at the time, and he w he talked a little bit about that, but he didn't seem to be even interested in that so much. And he says, "Well, if you're interested in really academic things, you should go over and see Harry Newman, <laughs> teaches at Scripps College." Uh, he said uh, he's really interested in academic subjects, and he's I understand teaching a course on Thucydides uh, next term. You might want to take his course. And I said, "Well, uh, thank you for that." He says, "Have you heard of Harry Newman?" I said, "No, I never have." And he says, "Well, you should go over and talk to him." And so I did, and uh, introduced myself to Newman, and he was very interested. And uh, so uh, that was the first time I met Newman, and we had a conversation about uh, Thucydides for about an hour or so, and I ended up taking his course, and uh, this uh, started a lifelong uh, friendship with Newman as well. And did you, did you take the course on Plato from uh, I did. I took a, it was a two-term course uh, on Plato's Republic uh, from Jaffa, and we got through book two of uh, Plato's <laughs> Republic. <laughs> uh, and then I think the next year I took uh, the course on, uh, on Lincoln. And uh, I steadily took courses from Jaffa throughout my whole uh, time. And I took, uh, I think I took every course from Leo Strauss that he taught at Claremont. A uh, course on the Nicomachean Ethics, a course on uh, Plato's Apology and Xenophon's Apology, a course on Xenophon's uh, memorabilia at the time mm -hmm. that Strauss was just finish up, uh, finishing up his book on the memorabilia, Cor a seminar on uh, Rousseau from Strauss, a seminar on the Meno. And uh, several other uh, seminars from Strauss. Uh, he gave uh, seminars that he invited uh, to his house uh, during Christmas vacation and over summer vacations for seminars as, as well. So, but he was always interested in having students to his house, and Jaffa was too. Jaffa was, despite my first encounter with Jaffa, he was very generous in having students over to his house and uh, and uh, having seminars at his house. And, and was uh, was Martin Diamond there when you arrived? Uh, Martin Diamond was there. Yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> Uh, I took a course from Martin Diamond, uh, my first term there, on uh, the Federal's Papers in Tocqueville, hmm. which was a very, very interesting course. Yeah. Diamond was a uh, very, very uh, entertaining lecturer. He was a very good lecturer. Was he the best teacher among that group? I, I think he was, yes. I think without a doubt, yeah. Don't let uh, Jaffa ever hear this, uh, <laughs> this tape. <laughs> uh, but Diamond, uh, I think... Uh, 
uh, cultivated. He looked like Lenin. You've seen uh -huh. pictures of him. Right. He looked like Lenin, and I think he uh, cultivated that look. And uh, uh, Diamond uh, at one time was the Minister of Education for the American Socialist Party. <laughs> and you can uh, as imagine. As a younger man. As, as a, a younger much man. younger man, yeah. And you can imagine him uh, on a soapbox someplace outside a factory in the 1930s giving a lecture at, uh, you know, with, to the workers as they come out of the factory. Real, yeah, with verisimilitude. Oh, it yes, of, yes. It yes. only sounded like Lenin. It looked like Lincoln. Yes, I yeah. mean, Lenin as yeah, well. Very yeah. much so, yeah. yeah. Diamond was a very interesting character. And he, too. Uh, we, we had lunch with uh, Diamond over at, uh, at CMC uh, mm. uh, almost on a daily basis. He would invite students and... Uh, it's very approachable. Mm -hmm. so and you took a lot of courses from Harry Newman. From Harry Newman, oh yes. Uh, courses on Thucydides. More than from anyone else? or how would Oh, you no, no. I think I took most courses uh, either from Jaffa or, or Strauss. I'm mm -hmm. not really sure. But uh, Newman, Thucydides, uh, uh, and of course Nietzsche. Right. Uh, several courses on Nietzsche. Uh, one or two courses on Platonic Dialogues. Uh, uh, and a course on Lucretius. So mm -hmm. what did Harry Jaffa mean for your own intellectual uh, development? Well, I think uh, Jaffa has been very, very Im important to me uh, in the sense that uh, he was the one who demonstrated that it was possible to apply uh, political philosophy to the study of American politics. And I think that uh, Jaffa's importance uh, was not only as a political philosopher, but uh, the sense in which he made it possible to uh, do serious study of American politics to use the, uh, say, uh, the techniques or the philosophy of, political philosophy of Leo Strauss uh, as applied to the American founding and to American politics. And I think he made the study of American politics respectable among the students of Strauss. And uh, he was the one who forged the study of American politics among the, the Straussians. And I've said on several occasions, uh, I think in print, on, on several uh, times, uh, that had, had Strauss's main uh, subject uh, been America and American politics, he would have written uh, Crisis of the House Divided and probably uh, The New Birth of Freedom. Uh, Strauss's uh, main topic was the crisis of the West. Had his, been, had his topic been the crisis of America, he would have written uh, one or both of those books. Uh, and I believe that uh, even in Strauss's mind, uh, probably, and this is certainly true of Jaffa, the crisis of America is the crisis of the West. And so I think that, uh, that Jaffa has been able to merge those two things in a, in a very, very important way. And so uh, that's the perspective uh, uh, that I've taken into uh, everything I've done. And I think that Jaffe has shown that, uh, that say, constitutional studies is the perfect conjunction of, uh, of theory and practice. Uh, that every constitutional question, for example, uh, is a, a practical consideration to be resolved from the point of view of a theoretical perspective, constitutional perspective, but a perspective that is uh, considered from the point of view of uh, the theory, uh, and most particularly the theory of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, and I think that uh, Jaffa's work, for example, the, the difference between the crisis of the House Divided and, um, and the new birth of freedom, really does correspond uh, between uh, the early Strauss and, and the late Strauss. You know, the difference between Strauss says that uh, that he changed his mind mm -hmm. between uh, the, the second edition of uh, Natural Right and History, for mm -hmm. example, or that he changed his mind uh, uh, between the Hobbes books. He said that uh, Machiavelli, and, the, and right. then later he said he thought it was uh, even Vico who was the, the progenitor of modern political thought. So that Strauss had a second sailing, and I think Jaffa's second sailing uh, uh, really correspond to uh, the second sailing in, in Strauss as well. So I think that there is a kind of correspondence. So uh, Jaffa was bringing the crisis of the West to bear upon uh, American politics, the American founding, uh, whereas Jaffa uh, uh, took the orthodox Straussian view of the American founding and the crisis of the House Divided, and then later changed his mind uh, that the American founding wasn't a radically modern project after all, 
uh, but that Lincoln was defending the founding and not refounding America. Uh, so um, I think there's a correspondence there. So Jaffa, uh, and I think in a sense went beyond uh, Strauss in his understanding of the theological political problem. And I think that Strauss uh, uh, didn't see that perhaps, um, maybe talking above my head here in this regard, but uh, didn't see that perhaps as clearly as Jaffa did. In New Birth of Freedom, when Jaffa talks about uh, the Civil War as being a religious war, mm -hmm. that's a pretty bold statement. Uh, and, uh, and I think uh, that's something to be reflected upon uh, uh, in light of Strauss's uh, um, revelation, if you will, that uh, political philosophy always examines the theological political questions. And I think that uh, uh, Jaffa has carried that project further uh, than any other student of Strauss. And I think has been aware of that question much more than any other student of Strauss. And, and that uh, is, is where uh, uh, Jaffa has been the, the greatest help to me in my career, such as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he taught you to pedal. He did. Uh, Jaffa, uh, uh, despite uh, my first encounter with him, has taught me uh, to ride a bike and to uh, become uh, an avid cy a cyclist. Uh, even though I've had uh, much more success than he has uh, in, in the cycling <laughs> in the cycling world, so. Well, he was held back by his students. He was held back his by his students, yeah. Them. But uh, I must say that uh, when uh, the crunch came, he was never able to hold onto my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Beautifully said. Mm -hmm.